Equality is kind of giving Statue of Liberty. She's kind of giving Statue of Liberty realness down to the red. Or green. I just looked at that color and said red. You guys, I'm not colorblind. I'm just dumb. Welcome to Self Growth, the gaming show where I play games I played as a kid. Gamers, I'm about to reveal something truly kind of shocking and humiliating to you about my childhood, which is that I was a nerd. And I really don't mean that in like a cute, fun, quirky way. I mean like for the most part I genuinely enjoyed school. I was the sorry I can't I have homework kid pretty much as soon as I popped out of the womb. And boy did I love an educational video game. There were so many of these educational computer games, the ones that were like labeled with the grade level. I was always playing the ones that were like two or three grade levels ahead of me. This is not a brag. Like I'm realizing this is sounding a little bit like a brag. <laughs> You're like, no, it's not. But in case for some reason you're interpreting this as a brag, this is just evidence of how fucked my priorities were when I was a child. Like, go outside and play in the mud or something. Dig up some worms, for Christ's sake. Anyway, so I have especially fond memories of this game we're about to play today called Treasure Math Storm. I've mentioned before, I don't know how I obtained some of the CD-ROM games I did as a kid. I certainly don't know how I had access to this one because it's from 92 and it was on DOS. And there was a version version of this that was on Mac and Windows, but I looked up screenshots to that one and that was not it. It was like updated, there's like better graphics. This shitty one is the one I was playing. So this is a math game for like eight-year-olds. The thing with me, <laughs> the thing with me is I have a master's degree in computer engineering. So I've done a lot of math. I've done a lot of like calculus and physics and like and proofs. The eight-year-old math is what I can't do. Like I still will type things like eight times seven into a calculator. Okay guys, here we freaking go. Here we gosh darn freaking go. The music and everything. Okay. The master of mischief has invented a magical machine that can change the weather. He took his machine to Treasure Mountain, created a big winter storm, and put the mountain into a deep freeze. Isn't this the plot of a Donkey Kong game? The storm caused countless problems, the clocks went cuckoo, the gold scales tipped, and the crystals crumbled. The treasures blew all over the mountain, and the pathway to the castle was destroyed. You, the super seeker, can heat things up. Find the snowbound treasures and take them to the mountaintop castle. The elves can help. Solve the- <laughs> Why did that make me laugh? The elves can help. Solve their problems to find treasures and earn tools to climb the mountain. Have the elves thought of solving their own problems? Look at him go deep freezing this mountain. Look at me- look at me go! Look at me go climbing the mountain! Look at this beautiful white dove of peace, of world peace, helping me out. He's gonna give me hints. Okay, catch an elf with the space bar. You got it, girl. I think Chirp is a girl. She's giving girl. She's giving sleigh. Wait, sleigh? Did I just come out of this hole at the top? Prizes? Oh, this is where I'm gonna put all my trophies. All my trophies of my conquests. So it's like I can use the arrow keys or I can click on, on virtual keys on here. Oh my god, this is the first on-screen keyboard. Okay, oh, oh my god, I'm slipping and sliding and skating when I push down at the same time. That's swag. Let's go. Catching elves. Yeah, I'm catching the elves. So like, do they have rights? Do they have human rights? Why can I just catch them? Why am I capturing- um, 4 plus 5 is 9. I knew that. I was like- I was in the middle of a sentence, which is why that took me a second. Look at his adorable little smile. I love this game- do I love this game? I got 3 cents. This game really teaches you the value of money, because like, you have to work really hard for nothing, basically. Oh, what's going on with the bird on the screen? Ooh, this is- this is so fun to just be the bird. It's like changing direction when my mouse changes direction. A snowball pile must have the special number of snowballs. Catch an elf with a scroll to learn the special number. I- listen, look at this elf that's like a bouncer. No, this is fun. You guys, this is fun. It's fun though. <laughs> there's- there's something about catching the elves in a net that I feel like I'm uh, doing a crime. Are they okay with this situation? Six plus two is eight. 
I'm like saying it out loud to myself to, to like reassure myself. Okay, to find treasure, make piles of four snowballs. No, cause like this is fun. This is like a puzzle game. This is like fun, guys. Can I just keep catching elves for infinite money? Oh no, I'm out of nets. It makes so much sense is the thing. And he's, the bouncer's like not gonna let me go up, right? Yeah, I have to get four picks to go all the way up. Oh, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. I can change the number of snowballs. That's what they just said, but yeah. Okay, four. And I found a gift. Not me being a genius. Speed running, speed running, getting treasure right now. Wait, what's at the store? Oh, this is where I get more nets. Um, okay, calculating in my mind. I feel like I was getting like three cents from each elf. So this seems like a bargain to get like four nets for three cents. <laughs> you guys, I think this game taught me everything I know in my life, but like four nets for three cents. I'll be making a profit. I'll be making a profit for sure. Old lady? I will buy this. Yeah, you have to give her exact change. She takes exact change only. So it's like teach it's like teaching you how change works. Like this is what taught me money, you guys. This is how I learned money. <laughs> Do it again. Do it again. I'm gonna load up on nets right now. Like I'm out here strategizing. Now we're going, oh, oh, this is a clock puzzle. Hence the clock above the door. This is, this is what's called a clock puzzle. Oh, I'm still bad at this though, to this day. Reading a, a, a clock like this. So maybe this game didn't teach me everything I know. You guys, I'm telling you, I had the same, I have the same reaction to all these old games, which is that I say it feels like I just played this yesterday, but that is so unbelievably true. Like I can't even express how this feels, it's so weird. Because I had to be such a tiny child when I played this. It's cause it's just, it's like lodged so deep in my neural pathways. And like, I feel like this is so cute and good and well made for such an ancient game. Oh, he's giving me pickaxes. I thought I was gonna have to buy them. Wait, my strategy is changing now. He's he's only giving me times that are, that are something 30. You know, this is a little bit too easy. What happens if I keep playing after I have the pickaxes? Can I sit here and make infinite money? Oh, he's only giving me one cent. I just sit here until I have like nine 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 cents. Why is this so fun and satisfying to me? I'm like almost middle-aged and this is thrilling to me. I have to get out of here. I'm gonna be here all day. Can I catch more elves? Nine. You guys, I kid you not when I see a problem like this, I think in my mind two plus seven. Okay, seven eight nine. Like it doesn't just come to me. Did nobody ever teach me math? <laughs> like, how has this happened to me? Like, five, six, seven. That's how I do this. Should I just use up all my nets right now? Just catch and releasing elves? <laughs> it's like, catch and release like fishing. Oh my god, this is in a different arrangement. They arrange those vertically. <laughs> I just, they try to run away and I just get them immediately. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys thought you were getting away? Look how much money I have. I'm filthy rich right now. It's also like, you know, I'm a little bit slower because I have to like find the numbers on the keyboard. That doesn't make it any better. That just makes it sound like I don't know math and I don't know how to type. I can't believe I'm choosing to put this on the internet. Nobody's making me do this. Now I'm out of nuts. Let's go up. Let's go up the freaking mountain is what I think is happening. The bouncer is, is allowing me now. The bouncer is impressed. I should have saved some nets probably. I thought maybe there would be another store, but I don't know if that's true. Can I guess the, oh, there is another store. Can I guess the number of snowballs? Look this guy. Do you think they're husband and wife? This guy and the girl downstairs? Oh my god, things get more expensive as I go up? I should be buying all my nets on the ground floor. Not you price gouging. How dare you? I like how you can get the tool that you need to get to the next level, either by actually doing the puzzle or just buying it. You know, that's like a metaphor about how like rich people don't need to go to school, they can just buy their way through life, actually. So let me go, let me go find the little hoe with the scroll. Let me go find the little hoe with the scroll because he's going to tell me about the snowballs. He's got the secret sauce. Easy. Oh my god, you're giving me, you're giving me toddler questions. <laughs> Seven. Seven is the number. Seven is the number. Here's what I'm saying is could I have just guessed that? Do you think I'm like, because it scrolls back to the same place if I just go left the whole time? Do you think I'm going around the mountain circumference? You guys, I don't know what it is. This is fun. To this day at my ancient old age, this is fun to me. I'm having fun. So let's go into the golden doors. Let's do that. 
Oh my god, the weights! I remember everything I remember. When it's balanced, highlight equality and press enter. I love to highlight equality. That's something I like to do on this channel. That's my responsibility as a creator to highlight equality. Um, so seven is giving six and one. Oh, I'm like picking- oh, I'm picking them up and moving them around? Isn't this kind of advanced technology for the time? Seven is giving six plus one. Personally, that's what I think. Highlight equality? I thought there was going to be a button that said equality. Is that her name? Hold on. This is equality. She is equality. Slay. She's a woman of color? <laughs> Not this woman of color named equality. Nine is giving four plus five. Four plus five is nine is one, is one that sticks with me. You know, there's like a few. There's like a few of these baby math problems that stick with me. And four plus five is nine is one of them. Girl, slay. Five is giving three plus two. That's another one. I shouldn't be so proud of myself for remembering these things. Equality is kind of giving Statue of Liberty. She's kind of giving Statue of Liberty realness down to the red. Er green. I just looked at that color and said red. You guys, I'm not colorblind. I'm just dumb. Eight is giving five plus three. Imagine if I spoke in memes like this in college. Imagine if I was answering calculus questions in class and I was like, the derivative of x squared is giving two x. It's giving two x, professor. Why am I doing this so many times? I think I've, <laughs> I think I don't have to do it anymore. I've built the catapult. This is what I'm, I'm telling you. I'm having fun. Somehow I'm having fun doing this. Goodbye. We have to say goodbye to equality. Um, so now we're going to catapult ourselves up. Is that what's happening? Oh, I, and I forgot I can skate. Wait, that's so much faster. I have to catch the man with the scroll again. Hello? Six. Does the math get harder as you go up? Because this is kind of baby shit. We're not even multiplying. Okay, the number is four again. I'm collecting all of the treasure. All of the treasure. I'm getting straight A's. If there's one thing I will never let go of, it's the validation I get from getting a good grade. This is how you speed run right here. There probably are speed runs for this game. <gasps> Should I do that? Wait, because to get good at speedrunning, you would have to like get good at the math. You would have to like legitimately get good at the math to answer it really fast. Maybe this is how I solve my problem is I start speedrunning this game. We're counting. Oh my God, easy too. Like I love everybody's little magic powers. Um, that would be nine. See, I can count at least. Counting is something I can do. This is so fast though. This is such a fast way to make money because I'm killing this and it's way faster than the, the moving the weights around. This is the fastest game yet. Again, I just keep doing, I don't have to do it anymore. I have the ladders I can leave. Wait, so what's going on now? I have ladders and the, and the Yeti has moved aside. Did I need to bribe him with ladders? 12, 13, 14, 15. That's what we would call counting up by one. Oh, am I in the castle? What's going on? I can't go side to side. I have to go up. I love the sound effects because like that is absolutely not the sound of a person climbing a ladder. Oh, I, huh? <laughs> so I delivered all my treasures up there and, I'm, and now I'm back at the bottom and we just do this again. Total treasures, nine, four, 50? I kind of want to complete this. I kind of want to complete this and speed run this and be the, the world's foremost expert on, on treasure math storm. I need to find one more treasure to move up in rank. See, this is how I find validation in life, is collecting all of the treasures and becoming the highest ranked simple addition master. Okay, so this next part is where my capture card decided to stop recording for no reason and with no warning. So I figured we could just kind of fast forward through my next couple runs up the mountain, just show you a few of the highlights. I have put a lot of work into painstakingly recreating the gameplay footage, so you might not even really notice that anything is wrong. Have the pri the prices have, have raised ha again, the prices rised again. This old lady and the old man upstairs are wringing me dry. They know I have money now. They're scam artists is what they are. So am I like mugging them? I catch them with a net and then I end up with money. Am I mugging them? I'm mugging them, but like they, they ask me a little riddle first. Who was the snowball? Do you hurt me? Not there being enemies. Not me having a mortal enemy. See, this is, um, you know, in the speedrun, you lose so much time to the, to the fucking clock game. You lose so much time to the fucking shit-ass clock game. 
please. This is the same. I got 104 wrong last time too. I also put 14. Maybe this could like, like the mistakes I keep making, I feel like a doctor could locate exactly where the faulty neurons are in my brain locationally. <laughs> where they are locationally. I feel like they could figure it out. Maybe even just from me saying that also, they'll figure some stuff out. Okay, I actually just ran out of storage on my phone for filming, so I think that's the universe telling me to get a life, nerd. I think that was probably the ghost of Steve Jobs telling me to get a life, nerd. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I should probably show you something that's happening right now. I think I should probably show you this. Girl is letting it all hang out for the whole internet right now. She is letting it all go. Oh my god. Okay, that's gonna be it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.